Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple system that you can use it to deal with languages and translation in your Unity games. So let me run this example. I have a scene here, a scene to change language between English and Bahasa Indonesia in our game. I have a text here and two buttons. The text are instead of uh, typing something here, instead I use this script, say, say script, and I attach it to this text element here. Here I write English, here. and also for this text for this one I write here okay why because you can see I choose language here is from this text and this button the button of the text of this button for this one Indonesian and this one English I use this script to manage the translation. Let me open this game language game language script. Let me open it. I already defined a translation for the text that I I did use. For example, this English it is in translation for Bahasa Indonesia from English. As you can see, this is the translation data. English in Bahasa Indonesia is English. Reset in Bahasa Indonesia is atur ulang. So, here, because we are in English, we can see this this way. But if we change the language to Indonesian, let me change it. Now, the, ang the English here, the text English change to Bahasa Indonesia if for example I change the translation of this English to blah 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 and save the file if I run it as you can see now it is changed to blah 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 You can see choose language in Bahasa Indonesia is pilih bahasa. Let let's open this this one. Let's open this scene and run it. This setting is to reset the language setting, translation setting. Right now I'm in Bahasa Indonesia. If I want to reset to English, I can just click this button. Now we are in this uh, default language, which is English. Let me do some example, another example. Let me create a new script. Let me create a new scene here, new scene. And I'm going to show you how to use this translation system. So let's say we have this new scene then we need to create if if you want to add some ui element example well, i make a text here and this text i will let it empty i will let it be this way i don't do i don't need to type anything here here we can simply attach this script and we can type here what we are going to say we need to type it here for example i want to say choose color on every scene that we are going to use the this game language changer system we need to attack we need to bring this prefab into the scene this is just empty game object with game language script in it 
so let's just bring it here and now we can run this scene but please note that because we did not add a translation we did not define the translation for this text we don't have it here yet if we run this scene you will not see the translation let me change the language to Bahasa Indonesia first let me run this scene and choose Indonesian if I run this scene the value of this text will be untranslated because we did not add the translation for the for that text so to do to add the translation we need to let's we need to copy this text and go to the game language script here we need to duplicate any of one of this line and paste it here and now we type the translation of this uh, sentence or words in my language choose column will be believe warna now we have the translation for choose color and we can run it this way we will see it pilih warna everything here or in bahasa indonesia pilih warna pilih bahasa you can switch between languages this way so that's all uh, I'm, I don't want to explain more because I don't want this video to be more longer if you have any question please ask me I will make an explanation or make a new video to explain more if you want thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy it and bye bye